Hello, hello, Mr. Kaczynski here, working through section S of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Point slope form, we're going to write an equation from a graph today. <clears throat> Reminder, point slope form looks like this. y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. m is the slope, and x sub 1, y sub 1 is just any other point on the line. Sometimes you'll see this minus y sub 1 as a plus y sub 1 over here on the right, but this is the way IXL looks at point slope form. So here's what we're being given. We're given a point and this line, and we're being asked to write an equation in point slope form. We're supposed to use that red point. All right, let's focus on the red point first. It is called point slope form. All right, so that point right there is at negative 600. positive 800. Alright, well, the 800 goes right here. It's what's being subtracted from the y value. And the negative 600 goes right here. It's what's being subtracted from the x value in point slope form. Um, normally with that minus negative, I would turn that into just plus 600. Um, not an option on the early questions in IXL. Next, we have to figure out the slope. Um, I would go to this point right here, all right? So to get from the red point to the green point, we would need to go down 100 and to the right from negative 600 to positive 100, that's 700. All right, so M would be negative 100 over 700 or simplified just negative 1 -seventh. And there we have our equation in point slope form. Y minus 800 equals negative 1 7th times X minus negative 600. Let's try it a few more times. All right, our point in this case is at 60 and 70. Our slope, and we'll go right here, goes up 10 from 60 to 70, and to the right, from 10 to 60, that's an increase of 50. So our slope is 10 over 50, or just 1 fifth. All right, so what's our equation then? Y minus the 70 equals slope 1 fifth times x minus the 60. And that's our equation in point slope form. So our x value goes right here, our y value goes right here, and our slope value goes in front of the, um, the x minus blank. Let's do a few more. All right, the point we've got here is negative 20 and positive 70. Our slope, just got to identify another point, is up from 30 to 70, that's 40, and right from negative 30 to negative 20, that's 10. So our slope is 40 over 10, or just 4. So our equation will be y minus the y value of 70 equals 4, that's our slope, times x minus the x value of negative 20. And the only thing is, like I said, I don't want to leave this minus a negative 20, so let's fix that. Let's make it y minus 70 equals 4 times x plus 20. All right, what about this point? This is at 100, negative 700. And our slope looks like we start right there at 0, 100. So we're going to go down 800 
from 100 to negative 700 and over 100. So that's a slope of negative 8, right? We can do that math in our head. Negative 800 over 100. So our equation, let's go y. Um, my, instead of minus negative 1 or negative 700, let's just make it plus 700 right now. Equals negative 8 times x minus 100. So another way to look at it is, you know, it's always the opposite of these values. Instead of 100, we do negative 100. Instead of negative 700, we do positive 700. One more. Our point here is at negative 5, negative 5. All right, that's good. We're not going to mix those up. And our slope looks like this point right here. So down from 3 to negative 5, that would be a decrease of 8 over from negative 6 to positive or to negative 5 that's an increase of 1 so our slope is negative 8 so our equation then y minus negative 5 also known as y plus 5 equals negative 8 times x minus negative 5 also known as x plus 5 and we're done writing equations in point slope form can be super easy as long as we have a point in the slope so there you go good luck and let me know how it goes